Hello again everyone. I have another stitchy box to do. This is the dog's small batch box. There are, let's see, 30 packages in this box. And let's put them in order and get started. Three, day four, oh, not day five, sorry. Day one, sixteen, seventeen, twenty, twenty two, two, fourteen, four, there's eighteen. Slide those up over here. 11, 28, 3, 8, 24, 20, 22, 24, 28, 26, and 29. Set one above there. Seven, twenty-six, twenty-five, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-two, see, twenty-one. 20, and we have 19, oh, 18, 17, 16, there's 19 over here, 11, 12, 13, 14, 10. Here's 15 over here. It's a pretty big one. We got 9, 8, 1, 8, 9, 8. Here's 5 and 6. And there's 30, so 29 over there. All right, it looks like I'm missing seven. Yeah, let me just double check the box. And it looks like I might be missing day seven, or it could be wedged in one of these other ones. So, one more quick look up here. We'll go through them, and we'll see if it pops up. So we're starting with day one. Day one, we have, ooh, I like this. We have an over-dyed floss by Threadworks. And it's got a number and no name. I do like the color though. Let me see if there's a tag in here. Oh, there is. We have a tag. Let's see. <clears throat> Day one. Threadworks cotton floss. Where does your dog keep their hidden treasures? Under the fridge? Behind the couch? BB likes to keep hers under the work table in our shop. Well, mine like to hide them in their beds. 
You give them a treat and they go hide it in their bed. So that's day one. I like that actually. I have a, a project I'm working on. I, I want to use this on. I'm doing the um, uh, Lakeside Needlecraft Rainbow Feathers, but instead of using their prescribed colors, I'm using um, the all the uh, variegated flosses I have to do each uh, feather. I forget how many there are, but they're all done in uh, backstitch. So I think the variegated makes it look really cool. Number two. Feels like beads. We have some Mayuki seed beads in opaque green. And a little note card. A perfect and uh, perfect for stitching a patch of grass for your favorite pup. Not focusing that right. There we go. It's these tiny, tiny little seed beads. I like them. That's a nice color green. Sorry, my fingernails look a little dirty. And day number three. Okay. There's a little note for it. Oh, I love these. I actually think I ordered these. Um, or I have something similar. Come on, focus. The little puppy dog paw print charms. How cute is that? Can you focus? A couple of cute little paw prints to decorate your stitching. And I will definitely use those. Those are too cute. Day number four. heavier than a floss. Oh my god. That's adorable. Where's the part? Hold on. You gotta see this. Come on. Focus. How cute is that little guy? And the eyes are wonky. How cute. Oh, he'd be nice as like a scissor fob. Adorable. We have... Come on, focus. A lampwork dog bead. This would make a great focal for a scissor fob. What am I, psychic? <laughs> That's too funny. That's so cute. Got day number five right here. both. Hmm. This is a Threadworks over-dyed Italian wool. Mm. Uh, not too keen on that one. Let's see. I get what it's for. <laughs> it's a Threadworks wool. I love stitching animals with woolly thread. Fuzzy butts should be fuzzy. I get what it's for but I don't think that's anything I would use. I'm not too keen on that one. We have number six. Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> Don't know what I'd use it for, but I absolutely love this. You got a little Boston Terrier on the telephone. Oh my god. 
That is that is beyond adorable. Come in. That's too cute. I like that. <laughs> I don't know what I'd use it for. I just love it. It is too cute. Let's see what the little note says. That's unique. That's that's what I like about it. It's unique. It's a woven ribbon. Um, a bit of fun. A fun bit of ribbon to decorate your stitching with. A quick couching stitch or your finishing. That's cute. I have to find something I want to use that on. That's so cute. All right. Now, as I said, let's see. This one's pretty thick. Now, I seem to be missing day seven. We'll see if it pops up along the way. So we're gonna skip along to day eight which is pretty heavy. almost feels like this might be fabric. I think it is. What we got? Oh, I like this little Dalmatian style fabric. Oh my god, that's too cute. I'm really happy with this box so far. It's a little piece. Not very big. But that, that's adorable. Oh my goodness. I like that a lot. Let's see what the card says. It is a 32 count, come on focus, light basalt, uh, a fun new Laguna from Zweigart. Doesn't it remind you of puppy spots? It looks like a Dalmatian. It's really cute. I have to find something nice to stitch on that. That's really cool. I have such a collection. <laughs> All right, let's move on to number nine, which is a pretty decent sized package. I'm, I'm quite impressed with this box so far. Give me a little snip. Give me a little snip. Okay, there we go. This is a hefty one. Oh, this might be something I like. Wow. Wow, B. Holy crap. There's a fancy pair of scissors in there. Let me get the, um, Cap off. Wow. Those are some nice scissors. Yeah. I gotta look at them. I can't look through the camera. Hmm. They go a certain way. What am I doing wrong? Oh, okay. So what goes here? And you can see. See this little little divot right there? Right there? So when you put these in, this little divot hooks right in there to keep the cap on. And there's a nice little like loop at the end if you wanted to put a fob on it or string it up. Let's see. Let's get some info on these nice scissors. Thread snips, lifetime blades, highest quality. So tasty. Sharp blade, handle with care. Let's see if there's a note in here. Feel it. Because those are awesome. Thread snips. And finger slips. Well done. Day nine thread snips. A trip to the vet often involves a lot of time wasting. Wasting time. AKA stitching time. Throw these thread snips in your travel bag and you'll never have to worry about missing a pair of fancy scissors. Missing a, about a missing pair of fancy pants scissors. I can't read. You know this by now. So, now these, these are fancy pants. These are awesome. Well, I'm, I'm impressed with this box. Seriously impressed. This is, damn, this is good. <laughs> Let's move on to day 10. It's a Swarovski love bead in fuchsia. Oh my god, I love it. That is, that is a oh, freaking adorable. Look at my terrible nails. Oh my god, I love it. We have pups tend to steal our hearts, so I thought you might need an extra one. Aww. That's too cute. And you can hear mine barking outside now. Somebody let him out. 
It's very windy, so they're very barky today. They had like 60 mile an hour winds. Number 11. Oh yeah, the floss. Let's see what this is. Chinese silk, needlepoint silk, needle needlepoint incorporated silk, sable brown. It's a solid color. It's not a variegated. It's a nice light brown, perfect puppy color. I have two Yorkies, so it's a perfect color to match them. <clears throat> and it says day eleven, a nice contrast for the wool from day five. I can see those two working together. That's pretty cool. I still on that. I don't know. The wool is different. <laughs> but I do like this box so far. I'm gonna keep saying that. Now we're up to day twelve. And not only can you hear the dogs barking outside, but you can hear Bella scratching at the door. Now she's crying. Oh, oh! Look at those little bones. Are they wood? I think they're wood. Come in, squishy up there. They are. They're wood. Little wood bone buttons. Oh my god, it's cute. I like this a lot. <laughs> Wooded bone dog buttons. Some cute buttons to decorate your stitching or finishings. Oh, I love those. Those are freaking cute. day 12. Let's get on to day 13 over here. Oops, snip. Then we got another floss. No, not floss. Beads. These. These are some Mayuki seed beads in OP matte black. Now they're not opaque, which is what I would have thought OP might stand for. I don't know what OP means. That's some nice black beads. Those are nice for eyes, which I bet is what they're going to say. <laughs> we got perfect for puppy noses and toe beans. Toe beans. Oh my goodness. Little jelly bean feet. Let's go up to 15 which I'm going to assume is a pattern, so I'm going to open it off camera. And if it is a pattern, I'm only going to show you the one side. All right. Hold on, be right back. Let's see, it is. It is a pattern called Stitching Buddy Pup. Let me just fold this around. So I'm not sharing the pattern accidentally. Let's see. Okay. We have the Stitchy Box Stitching Buddy Pup designed by Tempting Tangles Designs. And it's a cute little puppy in his cute little bed with a, a it looks like it might be a variegated floss. I'd have to look at the other side, but I don't want to like spoil it for anybody. Oh, and that's a um um a floss holder. Oh, that's very nice. I like that. And it's done on a 36 count bittersweet linen. And there's a pin cushion. Model stitched on 52 count maritime white linen. So that's a pin cushion. And then that's the uh, needle minder. Oh, that's super cute. That's super cute. And I think it is variegated because when I look at the other side, all the symbols are the same. So, yeah, so it's got kind of a different, different, um, it looks like it's a variegated when you use it. That's really cute. Stitching buddy. I don't, I don't let my dogs or my cats near me when I stitch. I stitch the kitchen table. Um, I'm very afraid <laughs> that my dogs are going to, um, eat anything I drop. Oh, there's a little note card in here. I'll pull it out and read it in a second. My, um, I joke. I call my one, my teddy, I call him a pika puppy. Because if you drop it, it's in his mouth. 
so he will eat anything you drop. <laughs> so I'm very, very cautious around them. Like I lost a needle last week and I went looking for an hour for it to the point I was in tears because I was afraid he was going to find it and eat it. And it turns out it was stuck in my fabric. I thought it, it flung out of my fingers because it kind of got caught, but it didn't. It stayed in the fabric and I was like going crazy. So this is day 15 stitching buddy chart. Celebrate your stitching buddy with this fun little chart. The model for the dog is one of our own OG Stitchy Pup Squad members, our Golden Chow Panda Bear. Aww. That's cute. Alright. Oh, I skipped day 14. Look at that. I was so excited to open that. I skipped day 14. Let's see what 14 is. Still barking out there. Barking at all the windy things. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, we got a bezel. Focus. We got a little bezel. And I bet it's going to say something about putting a picture of your puppy in there. Let's see what the card says. <laughs> yep. Day 14. Pendant. Use this pendant to finish a small bit of stitching or to carry around a fabulous photo of your favorite pup. Yep. <laughs> we got day 16. Feels like... Is that a cookie cutter? Is that a puppy paw cookie cutter, I think. Let's see. Paw print cookie cutter. Perfect size to make some homemade treats for your favorite pup. You can also use it as a small frame for a photo of your pup or a small bit of stitching. That, that's, um, it's cute. Not what I expect in a stitching box. If I was into needle felting, this would be pretty awesome, but I don't needle felt. So... And I don't cook treats. My dogs are so picky. It's not even worth cooking treats for them. There's like two treats they like. That's all they'll eat. You can buy everything else in the store and they won't touch it. So. That's, that's a little odd. Now let's go on to day 17. Floss. So what do we got? Classic Color Works Bell Soul Soul Soey Carrot Cake. I like that. That's a nice color. It looks carroty. It really does. I can see that on like an Easter project, especially with those little green beads to maybe do the uh, the leaves of the carrot. Classic Color Works Silk, one of my favorite IG accounts, is the Golden Ratio. A family of five golden retrievers who all like carrots as a treat. Such a cute squad. It is a nice color floss. I don't think it's... It might be my eyes. It looks like it might be variegated, but it might just be my eyes. Because it is... It's dark here, so I'm working with the light. There's no light coming through the window, so... Number 18. Feels like it's fabric again. Oh, it's puppy pop from fabric. This fabric was perfect fit for this box. Your piece is either 14 count Ada or 28 count linen. And I got 28 count linen. I can tell it's linen. Oh my god, it's a tiny little piece, but I love it. Look at those prints. Oh my god. It's a shame that one's so far away. <laughs> In the corner. Oh, but that's adorable. That's really nice. I'll find something to do with that. Number 19. It feels like another piece of fabric, but I'm guessing it's an edging or a finishing fabric. Or maybe like the Halloween one, a little pouch. That'd be cute. I love it. Oh, there's a Yorkie right there. That's what I have. Well, mine are 20 pounders. They're more like silkies. Look at that. Oh my god. I gotta run that up on my sewing machine, put a zipper and a lining, and make a little pouch. 
That's too freaking cute. Some happy little pup fabric to help you with finishing. I love it. I really like this box. That's, that's, you know, I'm a hard sell on these most of the time. Number 20. Those amazing scissors sold it for me, though, I tell you. Ooh, interesting beads. I have some tree agate rounds. Agate, agate. Come on, focus. Those are some nice beads. I like them. Although I'd probably use them in jewelry rather than stitching. Another fun goodie to go with our tree theme is our new pup, Vera, is obsessed, obsessed with trees. Okay. But those are cute. I like them. And we got some more floss, it feels like. For day 21. We have Muddy Puddle. Yeah. The bane of mops everywhere. Dog plus a muddy puddle. I am lucky. My dogs hate the rain. They will go outside and turn around and come right back in. They love the snow, though. They love running in the snow, so we'll take the snow blower and make trails for them in the snow. But rain? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I have never seen a dog turn around so quick as them when it rains. They don't even like it. Like, if they're on a walk and it starts to rain, they pick up the pace. They want to go home. We got some edging here, kind of like the one that was in that Christmas box, or the one that came with the pie tin. Little plastic edging. I, like I said before in that other video, I've seen this in Joann's. So, and and the last bit was too short to do anything with. Like I wanted to edge the pie tin with it, and that's about an inch too short. So I'm not really. That's meh to me. We have a piece of crystal banding, this fancy, this bleh, the fancy embellishment for fancy pups. If you're stitching the largest dog, this band, banding, makes a great collar embellishment. I can see that. If you're doing a fancy princess dog, I can see that, but, yeah. That's, that's up there with the, um, um, cookie cutter. <laughs> That's something I'm not interested in. Day 23. Boy, oh, are big bags. And we got beads. Oh, I like them. They look like the um, crayon ones from um, Mill Hill. Um, OP again, which I don't know what that means. Matte light blue. They're nice. They're a little, I, I, they're a little squarish in my opinion. They remind me of the perler beads, even though these are glass beads. They just make me think of perler beads, and to me that looks like unfinished. Yeah, it's like plastic. It reminds me of plastic. Let's see. We have pretty blue sky means it's time to take the pups for a nice long walk. A walked pup is maybe more likely to be a well-behaved pup. I have beagles. Well-behaved is a relative term. Well, I have Yorkies and I call them untrainables. They, they do what they want. And they pay no mind. That's why <laughs> I say Yorkies because their paperwork says they're Yorkies. Hey, I think I found number seven. But um, believe me, they are silkies by every sense of the word. Their attitude, their temperament, their behavior. They do not get along with other dogs at all. And that's, that's a silky trait. They don't like other dogs. They're not social. So they do the one poor lift when they see something like a pointer does. They do the one poor lift. So we're going to jump back and look at day seven real quick. And they're, they're 20 pounds, you know. Yorkies at top out, I think at 12, if you're lucky. But my vet says they're the healthier style because the bigger the dog, the healthier. Um, those toy breeds are really, really, um, 
they're tough because when they're smaller dogs, they have problem giving them anesthesia. They have problem taking care of them. They have a lot of congenital defects. And it's sad. It, it, it is really sad for the dog. So the bigger the bigger the smaller dog, the bigger the smaller breed dog, the healthier the smaller breed dog. And you know, I just think they're they're great. <laughs> they're great boys. Um, every pup needs a treat to sniff around. It's like a water cooler of the dog world. So what do we have? We have delicacy beads. OP again. Matt Tree Brown. See, and they have that perler bead look to them again because they're not rounded. They're they're squared off. So but those are nice. I like adding beads to all my projects because it just makes it pop. And then I like adding shadow box frames so nothing gets squished. Let's move back on to day 24, which feels a little like fabric. It is. Quite a bit of fabric in this box. Quite a bit of good fabric in this box. 32 count linen. Um, want to drive my dogs insane? Go cook something in the kitchen. Mm, no, not mine. No. You want to drive mine insane? Say, Daddy will be home soon, or want to go for a walk. That's a nice brown. It's a nice brown. At least we know it's 32 count. Oh, copper kettle. Yeah, I'm not reading all the way. It's called copper kettle. That is a nice, that's a nice piece of fabric. Yeah. Well, like I said, mine are very picky eaters. They eat when they want to. The one loves his dry food. He doesn't like any. You could cook him chicken, cook him eggs, anything like that. Nah, -uh. he'd rather hamburgers. They like hamburgers. But um, other than that, he likes his dry food. And I'm trying to switch him onto a new dry food. And um, I don't think he's liking it, but it's supposed to be better for him. What do we got here? Little Scotty dogs. Two little Scotty dog buttons. That's too cute. <clears throat> Wooden dog buttons. A couple of cheery pups to decorate your stitching or finishing. Oh my god, those would be cute. With, you know, alternated with the dog bones. I like the pattern on them. Do you see that? That is so cute. Oop, dropped them. It's only on the one side. Now, I, I could say you could walk into any Joann's and buy buttons, but sometimes buttons like these, I, I will give them the benefit of the doubt that they're a rarity, you know. They're not something you're going to find every day. Like 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. This is a poofy one. Let's see what's in the poofy bag. Got nothing to do with dogs, but I love it. Nice little zippered mesh pouch. Is that stitchable? You could stitch on that if you wanted to. <laughs> if you wanted to. It's a mesh tool bag for those lovely scissors we just got. Come in, give her a kiss. Need to keep your stitching tools safe from thieving puppies? Yes. Uh, need a safe way to throw your tools in your bag? On the way to the vet or dog park, tuck them in this mesh bag and you're good to go. <laughs> That's a nice bag. I like that. <laughs> no needles in there though, because it'll it'll come right out. I'm gonna have to use a little tin. Because like I said, it's mesh. You could actually you could stitch on that if you wanted to. Very nice. But yeah, and I don't do dog parks either. My dogs do not go to the park. Like I said, they don't like anybody. They do not get along with other dogs. They're, they're a big dog and a little body. What do we got here? We got Midnight. Uh, Dinky dies 8 meters of 100% silk in Midnight. That is nice. It's funny, all these colors we got are perfect for my dogs. Perfect Yorkie colors, perfect silky colors, even. <clears throat> Pardon me. What's your dog's favorite time to go outside? Since I couldn't find a thread named 15 minutes after I fall asleep, I went with the next best thing, midnight. Now, my dogs are pretty good. Um, they're little dogs. We've always had them on wee-wee pads. So, 
I highly recommend everybody trains their dogs to use wee-wee pads, whether they're one year old or 10 years old or 15 or 20. Wee-wee pads are the best because when it snows, when it rains, they have a bathroom inside to use, which is a wee-wee pad. And if your pet gets older and has bladder or bowel issues, it'll know to go to the wee-wee pad because that's what it's done its entire life. Wee-wee pads are not just for puppies. Um, they're also great if you have bird cages because they, <laughs> they actually fit right in the lining of our bird's cages. I have two African greys and I have two um, little green cheek conures and the wee wee pads fit in their cages great, especially because the conures like to bath in their water. So you can give them fresh water and all of a sudden there's no water because it's everywhere. Well, you put newspaper in there, you put paper towel in there, that stuff, you know, gets moldy with the food. The wee wee pad's designed to hold liquid. So it works out great if you have birds. So I highly recommend those. And I should give you a rundown of my animals then. I have two dogs. Um, I had three cats, but um, earlier this month I actually had to put my one and a half year old down. He, um, I went to work, he was fine. About an hour later my mom calls me and Bo can't move. He can't move his back legs. And I came home, rushed him to the vet, and he had a blood clot. And they really can't do anything for blood clots in cats. There is something they can do, but unfortunately he had an underlying heart condition that we knew absolutely nothing about. And this cat was the light of my life. He was such a sweetheart. He was everybody's friend. And it just, it broke my heart to have to, to put him down at one and a half years old. So, and my other cats mourned him. Charlie, who's 14, um, he didn't like anybody. Bo made him love him. So he, um, he, he stopped eating, he stopped cleaning himself. It took him about a week and I was like, I gotta take Charlie to the vet. And then all of a sudden he kinda got over it, so to speak. Bella is not over it. She is desperately seeking attention. Charlie and her don't get along. So, how convenient, little heart. Little heart with a paw print. Um, I'll move it up so you can see as I talk. Um, they would play under my bedroom door. Like, one would be in the room, one would be outside of the room. If you open the door, they just sit there and stare at each other. You close the door and they bat paws underneath. So, I get up in the morning to go to work and there's a pile of toys at my door. You know, because she's looking for him to play with her when he's no longer here. So, and I still, I'm still upset over it. I mean, I've gotten to the point where, where I'm not crying every time I talk about him. So, a long video, almost 40 minutes. <clears throat> says, best friend's charm. There is no friendship like the friendship and love from a dog. Yeah, I think I got the cat box too, unless that was sold out. Best friends. Look at the little paw print. Too cute. I bought a, um, like with, with Cricket when she passed away, I've mentioned her before, I did a cross stitch for her. I bought a cross stitch to do for Bo, and I, I, I haven't started it yet because I have several other projects I'm working on, but um, yeah, I have, a, I have a cross stitch kit to do for him. He was just such a, a good... Bo's story, my, my very expensive Bo. Got some finishing fabric here. Um, my dog got him. Bo was in the yard when he was 10 weeks old and Bear got him. And I rushed him to the vet. He had a lacerated liver, a lacerated spleen. They did emergency surgery on him. And um, <laughs> he lived, he lived. He was a great little cat. He was so sweet because we had to bring him in. He was a stray outside. It cost me a lot of money. And um, it, it's just kind of like breaks my heart that here I saved him once because it was no fault of his own, no fault of the dog's own. It's just the nature of the breed and he was he was a curious little kitten. I was just very lucky to have caught him. So, and his mother and his three siblings are still outside and they can all have the same heart issue that he had. So it's kind of scary. I watch them every day waiting for one of them to, to show up injured and then I got to try and catch him. Uh, we got a gray heathered felt. It says Heather, right? Yeah. A bit of wool blend fabric to help you finish your projects. This is nice. Actually, what I could see with this is if you take the cookie cutter, 
put that cookie cutter on there and trace out a paw print and then take some black felt and make the little paws, you can make your own applique with this. It's a nice, nice heavy weighted fabric. I wonder if it's, I don't think it's big enough, but that'd be a nice lining inside that uh, puppy fabric if you, if you sew, you know, break out the sewing machine, sew up something with it. It would really, I think that would be better than just using it on a project. I think utilizing it for something like a bag or a pouch to <laughs> carry your stitching um, and stuff around in, I think that would be better. So, oh boy, what a rant. <laughs> Damn it. Get that in the bag, and then we're on to the last one, day 30, which, judging from the shadowing, is probably a chart, so I'm going to open this off camera, and we shall see. Yeah, it's a chart. It's really tightly in there. Okay, good. It's, you know, I don't have to worry about showing anything. It's Little House Needleworks. Bring that up close. It's, uh, oh, a bark, <laughs> C-D-E. Fetch, G H I J K leash, M N O paws, Q R S T U V W woof X Y Z. It's a cute little alphabet sampler, doghouse sampler. Let me see the back a minute. Um, no, I, um, I'm gonna. I'm trying to figure out how I can show this without showing this. I'll do it this way. Okay, that way I can show you. Sometimes when you get these, they everything you need to do the kit to do this chart is in the box. It is not this time. They don't even give you the gray, the clay colored linen. However, that copper kettle one would probably look very nice with this. Uh, maybe not. It would mute the dog and the thinner, the lighter letters. So that's really cute. I like that. So that's it. That's the box. I'm actually quite happy with this one. Um, could be because I'm feeling melancholy, but <laughs> I didn't really feel like uh, this was a bad box. This was this was a, those scissors, uh, a lot of those little tr um, charms and stuff. This was a really really nice box. Um, I feel like the game has been upped, and something like this would make me keep subscribing. You know, if the boxes are this nice. I would totally like look to getting another box, another pet one. I think she had a cat one. I'm not sure if I got that or if that was sold out. Um, there's a peacock one, a pirates, mermaids. No, there's a pirate one. There's a few. There's a few boxes. I haven't subscribed. I haven't looked and I haven't subscribed to any yet. Um, this year, these are from last year. I was trying to, as I said before, and I failed miserably, miserably already. I was trying to challenge myself to not purchase any cross stitch stuff for this year, but it never happens. I, I'm always on eBay searching for some um, rare finds, something that catches my eye and now I have to find all of them. Um, it's, lately it's been these little Mill Hill uh, baubles, beads, and bangles, and they're little ornaments and they go on a little glass beaded tree. I was even looking to see if I can make the glass beaded tree because there is one out there. I don't think it's Mill Hill. I think it must have been something that was popular. And then Mill Hill came out with ornaments for it. But the tree itself is like 50 bucks used in terrible condition. So, you know, I'll keep my eye open in the off season. Maybe somebody just wants to unload it. But, you know, I only have like three packages of ornaments. So it's not really worth it unless I find the wire and just make a whole bunch. But it was really cool. I, I like the idea of it. And it was just something that caught my attention. So... I'm going to end the video now, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.